Okay, year four. Since you have impressed me so much with identifying whether sentences were written in first, second or third person, I think you're absolutely ready to have a look at this passage here now. Now this passage is written in third person. Your task is to write it in first person, okay? Now think about the pronouns. What pronouns need to be changed and what do they need to be changed to? Just going to give you a minute to pause the video. Read the passage and have a think about what pronouns need to be changed to make sure that it's going to be written in first person. Pause the video here and have a bit of a think, please. Off you go. Okay, so let's read it together. And when we think that we came across a pronoun that needs to be changed because we need to change it to first person, what I want you to do is just point to the screen to show me that you know that that's when we need to change the pronoun, okay? You ready? So, Rupert, we might have to change this pronoun Rupert because if we're speaking about ourselves, we don't use names, do we? Because we'll use myself or I. Rupert and his, oh, there's another pronoun there. His needs to be changed. What does that need to be changed to? Hmm. Friends decided to go to the park after school. As soon as the bell went, they grab their bags. Oh, I can see lots of you pointing. They would definitely need to be changed. That pronoun will need to be changed. And so will their. Have a think what they'll need to be changed to. Sped out of school and sprinted to the football pitches at St. John's Park. Rupert, so that pronoun Rupert also needs to be changed. It needs to be changed to I, doesn't it? Because now we are Rupert scored a goal and celebrated by cartwheeling five times and finishing with a roly-poly. He knew he, he is another pronoun. We only use he when we're writing in third person because we're writing about somebody else. When we are writing in first person, we need to change it to I. So he knew his, so that might be he knew, um, I knew my gymnastics lessons would pay off one day. As the boys were playing, three older boys from Merrifield Academy walked onto the pitch. Rupert, so another Rupert there, my heart sank as he, or I, knew who the boys were. And he, another one there, I knew that they didn't want to play football. So Rupert and his friends were in big trouble. So Rupert and his friends were in big trouble. How can we change that sentence? Hmm. I and my friends, mm. my friends and I. Okay, so what I would like you to do is pause the video and just, you don't have to write anything down because you'll be doing this for your task, but with a different text, okay? Have a think. We've sorted out the pronouns that need to be changed, but what do we need to change them to? Pause the video and have a think and then we'll see if you've got the same as me. Okay, so... Are you ready for me to show you my passage that's been changed, okay? So, ah, so instead of saying Rupert and his friends, my friends and I. So those words in red are the pronouns that have been changed. So rather than his friends, it was my friends. And rather than Rupert, it was I. So we can see here that we didn't just have to change the pronouns. We actually had to swap some of the wording too. So we need to be watching out for that. Decided to go to the park after school. As soon as the bell went, we grabbed our bags. We grabbed our bags. Talking about ourselves, my friends, my bags, our bags. Sped out of school and sprinted to the football pitches at St John's Park. I scored a goal and celebrated by cartwheeling five times and finishing with a roly-poly. I knew my gymnastics lessons would pay off one day. As we were playing, three older boys from Merrifield Academy walked onto the pitch. My heart sank as I knew who the boys were and I knew that they didn't want to play football. My friends and I, that sentence, my friends and I again, rather than Rupert and his friends, my friends and I were in big trouble. So you can see by the first example, which we've written in third person, it's almost like we're telling a story about Rupert, that you're reading a story about him, like you would read a normal story. But when we change it to first person, now it looks like you're actually writing it as if I am Rupert, okay? So you're reading that as if I am Rupert. 
All right, and that's the difference it makes by looking at those pronouns, okay? Now, you have got two tasks today. So you first got this task one sheet here where you need to complete the table with the correct pronouns. So how many pronouns can you remember that we use when we are writing in first person? How many do you remember when we're writing in second person? And how many do you remember when we're writing in third person? That's your first task on task one sheet. Section B is to read the statements, read the sentences and say, so write underneath whether the following sentences are written in first, second or third person. I want you to also have a go at highlighting the pronouns that show you that they are written in either first, second or third person too. Because then I know that you have a great understanding of what pronouns are and what pronouns make it a first, second or third person text. Your final activity on the first sheet is to rewrite the following sentences, changing them from the third person to the first person. So that's where I want you to physically rewrite all of it on the, in the, on the line below and change the pronouns that need to be changing. Remembering that when we write in th first person, what do we need to make sure we do? We need to make sure we write about ourselves or write about like we're pretending that we're someone else, okay? So using pronouns such as I, my, our, okay? When you've done that sheet, you do have a challenge, okay? This challenge is to rewrite this story in the first person point of view. So this exact story is going to be your challenge. Remember, you'll need to look for the pronouns that need to be changed. It doesn't tell you whether it's written in second or third person. You're gonna have to decide that for yourself. And then change the pronouns and make it a first person point of view text, okay? Pause the video and work on your two tasks for today now, please. And then come back and then we'll do the plenary together, okay? Off you go. Okay, I hope you've completed your lovely work by now. If you had chosen to continue to the end of your video and then complete the work after, that's okay. Just make sure that you return to it after, okay? I have got a plenary question for you today. So... I would like you to look at the following two passages. Now, which passage is the correct way to write a diary entry and why? Pause the video, is it passage one is correct or passage two when we are writing a diary entry, okay? Pause the video, read them both and decide. But remember, you need to say why, so you need that magic word because, okay? Pause the video here, year four, please. Okay, so, as I looked down from our lofty home, I noticed a group of humans. They seemed to be holding loud, bright monsters with sharp, glistening teeth that were tearing our trees from the ground. I can see lots of pronouns I here. Mm. As she looked down from their lofty home, she noticed a group of humans. They seemed to be holding loud, bright monsters with sharp, glistening teeth that were tearing the trees from the ground. Well, there's not much difference here, but I can see this second um, passage has the pronouns she. Oh, so that shows to me here for that the first one is correct. The first one is written in first person. And the second one is written in third person. Okay, now, how do we know this then? How do we know that the first one was written in first person? And why do we need to make sure that it's written in first person to write a diary? Well you will have realised that we know it's first person because we can look at the pronoun, the pronoun's I, can't we? We know that when we are writing about ourselves, because when we write about a diary, we write about ourselves, that we use the pronouns I, or my, or our, okay? So, that is how we know. That is the first feature that you have learnt today, that you will be making sure that you put into your diary writing when we come to writing them, okay? Have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you in our next lesson. Goodbye, year four.